What's up guys, in this short tutorial I will show you the best in-game settings for Apex Legends for low to million PCs. As the game just got released on a Steam launcher, I assumed that a lot of new and old players flocked to the game. In your video settings, make sure to set the display mode to full screen. I have set it to windowed as it's easier to record. Set the resolution to your native monitor resolution. The brightness option will not change your performance but I like to set it slightly above average, as I feel like it helps in darker areas of the map. The same goes for your field of view. I always prefer to set this value very high, as I'm using a wide curved monitor. This helps with the immersion and to see more at a time. The sprint to shake option comes down to personal preference. In your advanced video settings, make sure to disable VSync if you experience stuttering or frame drops, as this could be the culprit. Make sure to test this option out in a game to see how it affects your performance. Your adaptive resolution FPS target will reduce your render resolution to maintain the specified target frame rate. Setting a lower FPS target lets you trade off performance for image quality. In case you regularly experience lag and bad performance, then this setting will help you out the most, but the visual quality might be drastically reduced depending on your system specs. In case you're using a low end PC, then set this option to around 50, as a target FPS of 100 would only result in reduced textures. Disable adaptive super sampling. Set the anti aliasing option to TSAA. Set the texture streaming budget to a lower amount than your available VRAM. My graphics card comes with 12GB of VRAM, but I still like to budget available VRAM for the game to around 4. You should probably set this option to 2 or 3GB. Set your texture filtering option to bilinear, ambient occlusion quality to low, as this will reduce your GPU load. Set a sun shadow detail to low, as well as the sun shadow coverage option. Below, set a spot shadow detail option to low, disable volumetric lighting and dynamic spot shadows. Lastly, set the model detail option to medium, effects detail to low, impact marks to low and ragdolls to medium. This should be a pretty balanced quality to performance trade-off for low to mid-end systems. Don't forget to apply your changes. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.